Okay, today we are going to learn about printmaking. We went outside and picked some leaves, and I'm going to teach you why we picked those. We're going to do some cool prints with those leaves today. So the first thing is I'm going to teach you about the tools. The first tool we're going to use is called a brayer so brayer and this is how we're going to apply our ink it's like a little roller the next is a jelly plate and they're pretty cool um, it has two pieces of plastic on each side and these pieces of plastic are very important because we're going to keep one piece on it so that way we know um, it won't stick to the table and then the other piece at the end of class, we're gonna put it back on top of it so that it doesn't stick to other jelly plates, okay? So I'm gonna probably collect all of those for me. Yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do is, like I said, printing. With your brayer, you only need a little bit of ink, like one dot, and then you're going to just pull and lift, pull and lift, because you wanna evenly coat that brayer. And then you're going to put it on your wonderful jelly plate okay once you have it on your jelly plate and it's pretty well coated you're gonna work a little quickly and put your leaves on there now you can reuse leaves and things like that you want to make sure though that the textured side is down so that way we get some details for what we call a ghost print so Go ahead, put some leaves on there. Um, fill up your page. Think about your composition. How do you want it to look? Remember, you're gonna make a few of these, so it's perfectly good. All right, there you go. Now what we're gonna do is called making a negative space print. So you're gonna take your paper, and you're gonna put it on top. You're gonna press a little bit, and then the most important thing, I want you to write your name big on the back because you're going to make a lot of these and that's very important I know whose they are so put your name okay you're going to press all the way around you can use this side of your hand so you have a nice even press and then you're going to safely pull your paper up to reveal your negative space how pretty and then next week, if you want, you can draw details in there when it's dry. All right, next cool part of the printing is taking off your leaves. And we're gonna make what's called like a ghost print. So this has already been printed on, but guess what? It still has some more magic left in it. So on top of that jelly plate, we're gonna take our paper again. Nothing, no more ink, just this is a ghost print. So each time you make and arrange your leaves, you should get two prints out of it. So go ahead, press. And then the most important part, name, really large. Wait. Okay. Press. And I'm making sure I keep everything on my placemat because this is a little bit of a messy process, but let's see how this print comes out. And there it is. Look at how cool those leaves are. All right, so we are going to do some fall leaf printing. Next week, we'll talk about um, mixing our colors. It looks great, though. And it, the printing is not supposed to be 100% perfect. That's the whole, that's the cool thing about it, is that you can have all these little intricate details. And I'll show you what we're going to do with it next week.